Look at the state of this underpass. Hello. What do you have? Mini bus. Yeah. Thanks. This is Chisinau. If I'm saying that right, the capital of Moldova. A beautiful looking day, and apparently there is a mini bus going into the center. So uh, my first time to Moldova. That was a two and a half hour flight from uh, Nice, France cost $230. All right, maybe the minibuses are here. I do not know any of the language, so uh, let's see how much English is spoken. Ah, Ishmael, that is the uh, street that my hotel is on. Okay, that's good news. Kishino? Uh, Ishmael. Here is the local currency, the lei, it's called Republica Moldova. One lei, 50 lei. I exchanged 50 euros into lei at the airport. It was about 17 lei per euro. That was a little bit of a uh, not great exchange rate. The uh, xe.com website that I use said that it was like 19 lei to one euro. So not too bad of a ripoff there. So I only got 50 euros and then I will exchange some more money somewhere else. 
I'm not sure if my bank card is going to work here. And so that's why I brought uh, euros to exchange. And so uh, my phone service does not work here. It looks like. Fortunately, Google Maps does work. And so I was able to uh, use Google Maps to see where to get off the minibus there. And it is a short walk away to my hotel that I reserved already on booking.com for five nights. I'm only here for five days because I have another trip already planned in the works that was already uh, scheduled before. And so I had like five days to go somewhere from France. And so I chose Moldova. So looking forward to exploring around here. All right, let's uh, get uh, to my hotel, get checked in and then go see more of Chisinau. Man, they sure have some ugly buildings around here. Relics of the Soviet era. But fortunately, they also have some amazing murals. And some crappy graffiti. All right, my uh, hotel is just a short walk up this way. And that uh, minibus ride cost just 11 lei which is like 60 cents or so. And it was about 15 kilometers from the airport. Moldova is the poorest country in Europe and the least touristy. It is not the least visited as far as total number of tourists. I was looking at a article about it and it is the third least visited, but the other two are Monaco and San Marino, which is inside of Italy. And those two countries are both super tiny. Whereas Moldova here is small, but it is not tiny, tiny. And so even though those countries have less visitors, they're concentrated in a much smaller area. And so you have very few visitors here in a country that is a decent size, I think like relative to Belgium or Holland or some of the other countries in Europe that are small but not teeny teeny. Beer house, all right. Might have to check that out later. And so it is 12 noon. That was a early flight. Man, look at that horrible, horrible building there. I guess it might be parking because it's all wide open. National, it says at the top. And now I got to get across this street and probably there is a underground passageway. That all looks really good. Cafe 24. I'm gonna have to try that place. Look at the state of this underpass. Remember that it is just 12 noon and the check-in time for my apartment isn't until 2. But I'm going to walk over there anyway and see if maybe my room is ready to go. I got what looks like a really, really cool room for about $40 a night. More than just a room, it's like this, almost like a condo it looks like. We'll see if the uh, reality matches up to the pictures. A 
Okay guys, so it is later, as you can see, it is like 9 o'clock at night. There have been a lot of sirens going off. I could hear them from my apartment, which is just around the corner there. And so I got checked into my place, and... Then I took a nap, and was uh, working away editing my latest video, and... So I just uh, headed out of the apartment, and I have a mission, and a little bit of a problem. So, where to begin? Some uh, music. And so first of all, it was a uh, bit of an issue getting checked into the place that I am uh, staying. The apartment is amazing. It is like the nicest place that I've stayed in my travels. Like probably the nicest room that I've ever had. It's like a multi-story, uh, two-story, like condo kind of suite. And it's as nice as the pictures showed, so that is great. But it was a problem checking in because it is an apartment, it is not a hotel. When I got to the apartment building, I got to the right building using the address on uh, booking.com. But then there was no office or anything, nobody around. And also I was early for check-in and my phone doesn't work. I have no cell reception here in Moldova. And so I had no way to call them and tell them I was there waiting to get checked in. And so what I did is I asked a local person, do you have a uh, cell phone? And they made the call for me and got in touch with them and the people came over and I uh, managed to get all checked in. But the problem is I thought that I had paid the uh, bill for the room online beforehand because I usually do that but I hadn't. And they couldn't take a credit card because there's no like reception desk or anything. They would only accept cash. And they would accept euros or the local lei. And it turned out that I had just enough in the lei and what I had in euros. I also have US dollars, but he couldn't take that. I had just enough to pay the bill and then I now have 62 lei left, and that is about $3.50, and it is late at night, and I have my uh, bank card, so I can make a withdrawal from an ATM, I think. I'm not even entirely certain whether I can do that here, and so I'm on a mission to find some dinner one way or another. Okay, this is going to help prices. I just said that I have 62 lei, and here you can get hot dogs for 19. So I can get some street food at least. Or maybe I will find an ATM around and try it and see if it works. And it is just a few minutes later and mission accomplished. Found an ATM right there. My card worked. I got 2,000 lei. That is about $100 US. And so I now have cash and... Oh, let's uh, go for it. I don't even know like where I'm going. And some good news. I checked my phone and I now have cell reception. It hadn't worked before. The whole ride on that uh, minivan into town and everything and checking into my apartment that whole time then I was getting no reception. And then I just looked at my phone again and it is now working. So looks like I have cell service here in Moldova. So that is great. All right. Time to find something to eat. I think I will head over to that 24 cafe and see if it's open. I will give a, a tour of my room later. Yeah. 
Star kebab. So that's an option. See what else we got. Different uh, places that are open here. Nice uh, outside seating area here. Fusion restaurant. That sounds pretty good. Looks kind of fancy. 9.20. And I managed to find it. It was a little tricky. But is it open? I guess that's 45 lei. That is like $2.50 for fish fillet dish there. Oh yeah. Kind of like a Greek salad, but a little different. And some kind of meat. And it looks kind of like polenta. All right, gonna dig in here. Not a bad view from the balcony here. So I'm going to give a, a very quick tour of the room here. Check this out, definitely one of the most amazing uh, places that I have had in my travels. Bathroom. And a uh, kitchen. I did some shopping today. Spent like 15 bucks on two uh, bags of groceries, microwave. I probably won't be making use of the uh, stove there. I like to have somebody else cook better food for me than I would cook for myself. So, uh, and so there's a loft up there. That is the bedroom. So 40 bucks a night, amazing deal. So uh, I've been busy here taking care of stuff, getting work done uh, today. And I'm just about to head out and go do some more exploring of Kishin out here. So I will be making another video, just kind of walking around uh, a bit randomly. So uh, feel free to uh, look for the end card uh, for that video if you want to check that out. And stay tuned. We'll see where else I end up in Moldova here. Take it easy.